Our next uh, recipient is Brooke Manchel. Where are you, Brooke? There you are. I'm over here. We can make the joke too about you squeaking in under the wire for the Young Alumni Award because. Okay, oh, wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, Brooke Menchel, class of 2002. You have been described as a great resource on legislative issues and a well informed, responsive, friendly, and open alumna and volunteer. That's just the beginning of a list of kudos that has followed you since graduating from Tufts. While at Tufts, you were instrumental in starting Tuf the Tufts Hillel Alumni Alliance. In the words of Lenny Goldstein, Associate Director of Tufts Hillel, the Alliance would simply never have gotten off the ground without Brooke Menchel. You distinguished yourself by becoming a member of the newly formed Alumni Relations Committee while still a student. As a board member, you were an effective voice for students' interests and also had a sophisticated appreciation for the role alumni could play to support Tufts and Hillel. As an alumna, you were reappointed to the board and continue to be an active, engaged advocate. You not only helped establish the Alliance, one of the first what we call shared interest groups, you became its chair. You helped expand the alumni database and reached alumni throughout the country, reconnecting them with Tufts students. Your work provided inspirational leadership that was crucial to, attain, to attracting many additional people who have become actively involved. Your conception of Miracle Martini Night, an alumni Hanukkah celebration, initially brought 40 young alumni together and has now grown to be an annual signature event, which has expanded to other cities and attracted alumni from a wide range of graduating classes. Even when you moved away, you have continued to stay involved, hosting alumni events and encouraging people to stay connected to Tufts. You've done this in a way that, for, that fosters a culture of self-empowerment and ownership among alumni so that they can continue without you as you move on to other efforts. As a law student in, in New York, you continue to stay connected, laying the groundwork for the alumni who will follow you and always giving 110%. You chaired the Tufts CASE, which stands for Connecting Alumni Student Experiences Network, which provides students interning for the summer in Boston, San Francisco, or Washington, D.C., with the chance to connect with Tufts alumni living, living in those cities. Through this program, mentors provide students with valuable advice and guidance throughout their summer. Most recently, you've assumed the role of chair of the Career Services Committee of the Alumni Council. We will continue to expect great things. You have, you're just a young alumnus, right? <laughs> Alumna. For yeah. <laughs> uh, as you move forward in life, you've shown yourself to be a wonderful role model for younger alumni, and we hope you continue to exhibit the passion that has carried you thus far throughout your life. It is with great pleasure that Tufts alum the Tufts Alumni Association presents you with this well-deserved Young Alumni Distinguished Service Award. Congratulations. Should adopt the uh, okay, okay, but I already had my my thunder stolen on the. I have a few months to spare to get in as a young alum, um, but I'm really very honored and incredibly um, humbled to be here. I had the pleasure of going last night to Hillel and um, to see some of the students and the staff, and it was really kind of an amazing experience being there ten years later, um, and. I walked in and uh, was looking for anybody I knew, and of course I didn't recognize any of the students, and met many of the staff members have turned over and are, are new folks since a decade ago, which is not really a big surprise, I guess. Um, and one of the students came up to me and he said, yeah, can I help you? And I said, sure, I'm looking for, and I mentioned one of the staff members' names, and he said, and what's your name? And I said, Brooke, and he said, oh, are you the Brooke? There are a few people I'm supposed to introduce you to. And he said, oh, just throw your stuff wherever. It's, it's fine, no worries. And I was talking about it later and saying that this had always really felt like home. Um, Hillel and Tufts more generally has really been an amazing thing for me. And last night, talking to the, some of the students, I started thinking about 
the last night on campus before graduation, when at that time, I don't know who it was, but the person who uh, was in Barbara's role at the time said, I'm not saying goodbye to you, I'm welcoming, welcoming you to the community of Tufts alums. And I think that's something that's really stuck with me since then. Um, through the work that Barbara mentioned, but also just generally, I had a friend in town on Thursday night, staying on my couch on Friday night. I was coming to Boston, I stayed on her couch, and then I dragged her along with me tonight. Um, and I think many of my friends, I'll be back in Boston for a few week, in a few weeks for a wedding of a Tufts alum as well. And I think that the Tufts community that people I've met, I ran into somebody at a synagogue in China a number of years ago who had been involved in Hillel with me. Um, I think the Tufts community is incredibly strong and I feel incredibly proud and honored to be a part of it. So I'd like to just thank Barbara and the members of the Alumni Council and the staff at Hillel um, and the staff at the Alumni Relations Office, although Tim told me earlier that I might be charged with a few new committees. So that's uh, <laughs> before I put out my thank yous too much to him. And um, also just Nancy Wilson and the staff at the Tisch College have been really um, helpful to me also. And I think they do amazing work. And um, so, and all of my fellow honorees also, congratulations. And all Tufts alums, I think it's a great, best place in the world. So thank you very much.